The new sketch comedy show, How to Be a New Yorker, is teaching tourists and natives alike how to survive in the big city. We're here at Sophia's Downstairs Theater to chat with Off-Broadway's craziest Big Apple experts. Tell me, how did you guys get the idea for this? I mean, what was the conversation when you guys sat down and decided to write the show? Well, I work as a tour guide around New York. I'm an actor, I do stand-up comedy, and I'm a tour guide. So we have lived in New York, and then I know tons of facts about New York, and Margaret was born here. So uh, we are looking through what sort of shows are off-Broadway, and there's really nothing about New York. Our show's about the history, living here, uh, and sort of everything in between. You'll see us play, I don't know, 80 characters up here. And I think my observations as a child, young adult, have kind of aided me in creating all these characters because they're, that's what New York is, just a bunch of characters living on a small little island together. The biggest compliment we've got about the show is that we didn't miss anything. And when we started writing the show, it was like overwhelming. How are we going to talk about everything in New York because there's literally it's the most diverse um, exciting city we had really a one man come who uh, lived in New York and he he was crying at the end of the show because he had moved away and he said you reminded me why I loved New York and so I think um, in a fun way we just really it's our love story to New York so you're in for a really fun and lovely evening. You're going to learn a lot and it's going to whet your appetite to respect New York and see every part of it uh, before you die. Okay guys, so you're the New York experts, so I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about New York. What is currently the longest running show on Broadway? Phantom of the Opera. Correct. Yes. Hesitated. Which Broadway musical was the most expensive to produce? Spider-Man. Correct. Oh, Correct. crushing it. Who are the Tony Awards named after? Antoinette Perry. Wow. Right? I was right? Oh, okay, good. Whew. I thought cool. your face. The largest museum in the Western Hemisphere is located in New York City. What museum is it? The Met. Yay! Yes, yes I actually knew that. <laughs> oh, be quiet. I, I think I won. I think. I don't over know. The, she got I that question. I wasn't counting, but I but feel I like I win. Overall, okay. The feelings are in my department. I feel. Just, for the sake like of the, the show and tonight's performance, we'll call it a tie. Because if she knows that I won the performance, both of us would be so frustrated we wouldn't even be able to go on tonight. That's right, I am a <laughs> fickle woman, and but I bring the drama, you know, I bring the drama.